in Feb 2019, I was a third year engineering student who had just created an application that went viral in my university. The application gathered almost 10,000 plus downloads, a feat I never thought I could achieve, to be honest. As I started coming closer to my final year, I faced the same question that comes to every engineering student's mind. Do I prepare for my placements or continue with my passion for developing software that solves problems? Unfortunately, both of these options are different in the Indian education system. And this question was really eating me from the inside. It was then that I learned about the Google Summer of Code program. Um, it was a super tough program to get into, but it would add value to my resume. You know, so I wouldn't need to choose between my passion and hours of interview preparation to stand out. However, as I started researching the program, every single project felt so complex. I mean, I realized that most of the students accepted were from colleges with huge names like IIT Bombay, IIIT Hyderabad and other top American and Russian universities. This reminded me of when I miserably failed uh, to get into an IIT in my inter intermediate. I mean, I come from a tier 3 college that nobody has heard of. I mean, why would they choose me? That's a question that I ask myself again and again. Who am I among these brilliant minds, right? I just couldn't fight with these thoughts and I closed my laptop. I didn't think I could do it, to be honest. If I was worthy, I'd probably be in a much better college by now. That is exactly what I was thinking. After a few days, my friend spoke to me about the program. I told him the same thing I told you guys, that I couldn't do it. But he convinced me to at least give it a shot. I added a small pull request of a diagram explaining the project. To be honest, I expected no response, but I got an almost instant reply. The mentor of that project absolutely loved it. This started to feed my self-confidence and for the first time, I thought that maybe I had a chance against those top students. Maybe, like just maybe I could really do this. I dedicated day and night to my preparation with intense focus, sometimes to the point of not hearing my own mother calling me, even though she was in the same room. I had only one goal and that was to prove to the world and more importantly to myself that I was worthy of competing with the world's best students. In the coming few months, I worked super hard and contributed as much as I could. Finally, it was time to submit our proposals for the project. That is when my perfectionism kicked in. I wanted to create the best proposal ever made in history for any project. And with this grand vision, I worked on it for the next three weeks and included everything from my previous work, my motivation to pursue this program, the work I had already contributed, all the way to the specific timetable I would follow if I was accepted in this program. My aim was not to impress the person seeing my proposal, but it was to leave them no choice but to accept me. So on April 13th, just before the deadline, I submitted my proposal and then followed the painful 30 days of waiting for the result. The result day finally came and I just couldn't stop refreshing the page. After hours of refreshing, I just couldn't take it anymore and I closed my laptop. Just then, I got a notification uh, on my phone. and. I opened the email as fast as I could, and then...
my heart shattered into a million pieces their dreams the hard work the journey all of it was wasted in a split second the self doubt that i feared so much came crashing again and i wasn't angry but i was disappointed i was disappointed that i chose to fight a battle that i wasn't worthy of i just switched off my phone and went to sleep The next day I woke up to a message from the admin of the organization which genuinely changed everything. He said that my proposal was the best he had ever seen in the program. And even though Google didn't give them enough seats that year, they'd like to hire me as an intern for the same stipend that other students accepted in the program were being paid. And I honestly didn't know what to feel. Do I feel happy that I was offered an internship or do I feel that I was rejected? You know, sometimes life surprises you in ways that you can never think of. I happily accepted the offer and started my coding. The next 3 to 4 months were spent working with one of the most intelligent minds I had ever seen. There were students from all the top universities you could imagine. I genuinely learned more in these 3 months than I could have ever learned in my 4 years of engineering. The program was completed, but then I saw a flood of LinkedIn posts featuring the official Google Summer of Code certificate and their resumes with the Google tag, which I did not receive because I was officially not accepted in the program. I really felt that it's it I mean it's not that I'm ungrateful but it felt like maybe I could have done something that would have accepted me in the program. So I was scrolling through these LinkedIn posts uh when I got a message from the bank and I opened it and it was a transfer of 1 lakh 20000 rupees. Now I come from a middle class background and the largest amount I personally had was probably 2 to 3000 rupees. I never saw six figures in my life and that too in my bank account. I whenever I share my story I usually stress this point a lot. because many kids who come from a well off background don't realize how mind blowing six figures is i i felt richer than elon musk himself but it wasn't just the money that excited me the most it was the validation of my self worth You know, this amount proved that something that I created, something that I created using my skills, my work was worth this amount. And you know, I finally had a data point in my life to which I could take support of when I start doubting myself again. when my mind goes into this never ending negative feedback loop that malik you know maybe you can't do this maybe you're not made for this you know you don't come from an iit etc whenever my mind does that i have a data point in myself and tell myself that that malik look you have got into this program right and not everyone can do that and you have made six figures while still being in college and not everyone can do that and you know so it worked like a flywheel i always used to share these data points again and again to myself this brought more confidence in my life and that confidence fed into my system and created more results so you know i wholeheartedly believe that it's that one achievement that you need that will propel your success 
to a huge amount and i can probably safely say that everything that i have achieved after this was because of the massive con- boost of confidence this one event had in my life and little did i know that there was probably more to come eventually my exam schedule was released and i was once again busy with college life i still stayed connected to the community i became a part of whether it was fixing bugs or just talking about the latest technology the rest of the year passed by pretty swiftly and i got busy applying for my masters program in the us so i think around march of the next year applications opened again for the program but this time i just didn't feel like applying then i noticed that you know there were very few students interested in the program compared to when i applied last year and this opened up a massive opportunity for me since i had already worked on the project for a year and without any strong competition i was basically guaranteed to get in this time because you know i've been working with this organization for for almost a year and that gave me an edge over every other participant like they know who abdul malik is they they've seen my programming skills they've seen you know i've as i mentioned i've also done an internship with them and you know i thought that if there is not a lot of competition i would guarantee to get into this position and although i did get the stipend worked with absolutely great minds and i had a ton of fun but you know there was this small part inside me that wanted that google certificate and you know my name on the google's website i quickly spun up a proposal without much effort because i had because honestly i had mastered the art of making proposals and i already knew so much about the program so once i applied i honestly forgot about the application itself and got busy with my masters application um since i was applying for masters in the us i remember this very clearly one day i was just scrolling through instagram memes and i got an email and the same thoughts started flooding my mind you know what if this is another reject can i handle another rejection um and so on and so on but i gathered the strength to open the email and then i saw the acceptance i honestly cannot describe this feeling i made history as the first student from my college to get into this program and you know i've had juniors come up to me saying that they see me as someone that they look up to since colleges like mine tier 3 colleges you know we generally don't have students that um are admitted into internationally acclaimed programs like these and honestly this is what keeps me going and this is what compels me to share my stories my journeys and and both my past experiences and and the experiences that are yet to come on this very youtube channel